Hello, welcome back to How to RV. I am Jason, and today I want to talk about camping for free. Now, let's not get the word free confused because there is some money involved here, but I want you to hear me out. I want to talk about a website called Harvest Hosts and what Harvest Hosts has done for me as an RVer and how I can camp for free. Now, before we get started, I want to say thank you to Locust Post Brewery. And the reason I want to say thank you to them is because they allowed me to shoot at their facility when I was talking about Harvest Hosts and I was able to get some videos that I can overlay on this video that we're making for you. So I'd like to give a quick special shout out to the owners, Tony and Chelsea Cornwell, for allowing us to stay at their facility and allowing us to take those videos. In addition to thanking them, I also want to thank their beer tender. Yes, they call it a beer tender. I want to thank Kathy Livingston for helping us make these shots possible. So first off, when we start talking about Harvest Host itself, I want you to take a look at this photo that we made. It has to be one of the most beautiful places that we've been so far when we're doing Harvest Host. So the reason that I wanted to talk about Harvest Host is because I've been to a few campgrounds lately and I've asked folks if they knew about places that they could stay in between campgrounds if they're having a hard time finding a place. And to my surprise, a lot of them did not. So I wanted to make this video today to talk about Harvest Host, what it is and how it works works. So Harvest Host is a website that you can go to and with a subscription to them you can find places that you can stay for one night stays and it is free. What I mean by free is is that once you pay the subscription, the annual subscription, then you can stay at anywhere on their Harvest Host website and not have to pay anything when you get there. Harvest Host originally started out so that you could stay at breweries and wineries and farms for typically a one night stay and be able to partake in their facility. So recently we went on a 17 day trip and we were staying at two campgrounds. And on our way to the first campground, we stayed at a Harvest Host, one brewery. And then on the second one, we stayed at another brewery in between the first campground and the second campground. And then after the second campground on our way home, we stayed at a third place. Each one of the places that we stayed at we did not have to pay to be there because we've already paid our subscription for the year. So I know that some of you down in the comments may believe that it is not technically free, but if you think about it, you pay a subscription and you can stay anywhere you want without any additional cost. So that part is kind of free, maybe? I don't know about the rationale behind all that, but leave down in the comments what you might think. So the whole thought behind the Harvest Host is the fact that you can stay somewhere for one night typically, and it's all based off the fact that you have an RV that is all self-contained. So what do I mean by self-contained? That means that you have a bathroom, you have a shower, you have running water, you have all these things inside of your RV, and you don't need to plug up to anything in order to be able to stay the one night. So that means that you're gonna have all the facilities inside of your RV that you need without having to have power hooked up from somewhere else or running water hooked up from somewhere else or a sewer hookup of any kind. So you're gonna find a facility, you're gonna stay there, you're gonna be self-contained, and you're gonna enjoy the facilities that you're staying at. Now, if you wish to be part of Harvest Host and you want to stay at any one of these facilities, you do not have to pay anything while you're there. But the part of the reason that these facilities are members of Harvest Host in order to give you somewhere to stay is to be able to bring in more business. So it is recommended that if you're gonna stay somewhere, try to support the local businesses that are being a host giving you somewhere that you can stay the night at. So if you enjoy wineries, why not stay a night at a winery, enjoy the facilities, you're helping them out, and you have a nice place to stay. Or if you like breweries, why not go ahead and hang out one night, have something to eat, get a little bit of something to drink, and have a free place to stay for that night. If you're someone who likes farm, you can stay at the farm, and most of the time they're going to have something there for sale. We have seen one place that you can stay that is a farm, and at that farm, they make organic food for their dogs. And if you're a dog lover, and you want to stay somewhere like that, then you can buy some amazing organic food for your dogs. In addition to Harvest Host, they recently merged with a company called Boondockers Welcome. And Boondockers Welcome is typically people who have decided to become a host who will let you stay at the facility for a night or maybe two or three. I've seen them up to five. Most of the time there are places that you can stay where you need to be self-contained and not hooked up to anything. But there are a few out there that will give you hookups. So they'll give you electricity or they'll give you water. It all depends on what they want to provide for you. Sometimes at additional fees and sometimes not. 
what I've found so far is there's typically people who will put a spot on their land and they'll provide you somewhere that you can stay. And they're not business owners. They're not breweries or wineries or anything like that. They're just somebody who wants to give you somewhere that you can stay for one night or so and be able to enjoy your stay and give you the opportunity to be able to go to places that are local around them and to enjoy the local area around them. In addition to having the wineries, the breweries, the farms, or even just people that want to host a place that they live at, there's an additional package that you could pay for that will allow you access to golf courses. And at these golf courses, it's kind of the same thing. You're going to help support the business and you're going to have a place to stay. And I almost bet that you could do just like we did, where we had an harvest host that we stayed at for one night, and then we moved to another location that stayed for one night. And because of that, we were able to stay a full weekend out and we did not pay any kind of campground fees. In addition to me adding the link down below, you will also notice that there's a 15% discount for you to be able to get some money off of your annual subscription. And the only reason that you get the 15% discount is because they really care about you and being a member. This video is not sponsored by them whatsoever. The 15% discount is for anybody that's going to come in new that can sign up under you. And when somebody signs up, you also get a little bit of money back as well. So if you've ever thought about going out and camping and having a hard time finding somewhere to stay, or you wanna go out camping and the campground that you wanna to go to doesn't have any availability until Sunday and you wanna stay somewhere on Saturday, then you can find a harvest host to stay at and you can stay there for one night that's pretty close to the campground that you wanna to get to, or maybe you wanna split the distance in half and stay somewhere along the way to the campground that you're gonna to get to. Either way, you can add somewhere to stay and it's fairly simple to do. When when you go to their website you can find all kinds of places to stay and they do most of the work for you so you find a place that you want to go you look up that area you go down and find a place that you want to stay as you scroll down on the place that you want to stay you'll find a calendar you can go and see if they have any openings for the date that you're looking for in addition to that when you look at the places that you want to stay you can see the criteria that they have set they'll have information on there about how big of an RV that they accept how many RVs they accept whether or not they'll allow generators, whether they'll allow dogs or pets on the site, as well as a little bit of information about who they are and what they provide. If you're interested in Harvest Hosts, then you can go to their website and browse around and find all kinds of information about who they are, what they stand for, what do they do, and what kind of things that they offer. All this before you even sign up. If you go to their website and you look around and you like what they have to offer, then come back to this video, click on the link down below because you're gonna get that 15% off like I was talking about before. If you wish to know more about Harvest Hosts and Boondocking and all that stuff, leave some questions down in the comments below and I'll see if we can't put something together or another video talking about some of those experiences that I've had so far. So until the next time, enjoy your boondocking, enjoy your trips, and God bless.